Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. Uh, this is something a bit different as you can see. Now many of you have seen me scour the map on GeoGuessr for hours on end in search of one specific location, in search of maximum points as it is on the game. Um, some of you will have also seen me scour Google whilst playing Street View Bingo or the cheating mode of GeoGuessr. And many others of you will be aware of, but not necessarily have seen so much in action, my skills on Google Earth, scouring the land whilst preparing and planning for a straight line mission. What if I took all three of those skills, pulled them together into one challenge and became a geo detective? Someone who can successfully identify a location based on one picture, in this case, with very little information in it. We're talking things like this, or this, or this, okay? We're not talking someone standing in front of the Eiffel Tower or the Empire State Building. We are talking photos that really have just the right amount of information in them to drive me mad, probably. Um, some are going to be harder than others. That is impossible. Or is it? I don't know. You never know. Um, and some are going to be a bit easier. There's an example of an easier one, I think. Uh, but I am going to have such good fun doing this. This is right up my street. I actually did this on Patreon. I found someone's catfish um, in Bali in Indonesia. Hopefully they weren't trying to stalk them. Um, but yeah, this time no danger of that. These are just my fans, my Patreons who have sent these in very kindly. Um, some of them will be on holiday. Some of them might be nearby in a national park like Bananas Hippledick here. Um, or maybe they're even in their hometown. I don't know. That's, that's the fun of it. I can't wait to get cracking with this. We're going to start alphabetically and we will start with... Abelwell Tipplewick. That's his name. That's his name. So here he is. Let's have a look at this. Um, what do I think about this? I think it looks like Canada is what I think. It looks quite bare. It looks quite northern. It looks quite northern. We've got a distinctive looking green iron or steel bridge there. Is there anything else I can get from this now before I start looking in Google Earth? Because we haven't got a compass. We know we're in the Northern Hemisphere, or do we? It's not New Zealand, is it? I'm going to go into Canada and start looking. Hang on. Yeah, if the sun... No, we can figure out which way is north if we know it's Canada. But if we know it's in the Northern Hemisphere the sun is behind us, then we can figure out that, no, I don't think I can do that. Because if it's the morning, if it's early in the morning or late in the afternoon, we could, we could well be looking east to west here. We could well be looking east to west. So I don't think we can muddy, muddy things up too much there. In fact, does it look like the morning? Because if it looks like the morning... Then we know West is behind us. Oh, no, I don't think we can do that. I think I've just got to look for this shape on Google Earth and the bridge. The bridge is distinctive. I'm hopeful for this one. It'd be interesting to see how long it takes me. But I am hopeful. So I'm going to start looking in Nova Scotia and Labrador first. So let's give that a go. So I'm looking at some of these little inlets. Um, it's got a warrant having a big bridge. That's the thing. And it's quite remote here. There's no need for a big bridge in any of these places particularly. You know, it's mainly cities or particularly big fjords that need to be crossed by a main road, you know. Uh, like maybe here. Yeah, see that's a particularly big fjord. It comes right round. So maybe that's not the right shaped bridge. It's mostly land. So, okay, I'll keep looking. 
or something that correlates a bit more. I'm not getting great vibes from Newfound uh, from Labrador. I'm not. Uh, I think I've pretty much scoured it. I can always come back to it. But let's go to Newfoundland now. I actually think I need to be over the other side of Canada. But let's give this a go. Now, as you can see, it's 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 quite flat. There's mountains either side, but there's a flat floodplain in the middle, or just a flat area. That's too built up, I think. But we can look at the bridge. We can go on 3D buildings. It's the same colour. It's a no from Halifax, Nova Scotia. That's another land bridge in shallow waters. Why do you freeze when I'm trying to be a detective? Why do you... Oh, okay, I'm not 100%, but I, I'm going to say that we ain't over here. I'm going to say that we ain't, and I'm going to try the other side of Canada. I'm going to whiz over to the other side. I'm actually going to have a quick look in Alaska. Where is Anchorage? and what not. Is there not a bridge there? No bridge. There's a bridge further up over this big river, but I don't think we're looking at that. I think this is probably more of a sea inlet than a river that's losing altitude. So, yeah, not Anchorage. Fairbanks is further up, isn't it? There's Fairbanks. I just don't think we're looking at that either. So I'm going to head down the coast of Alaska and then down into Canada. Okay, I don't think I've left every stone unturned. By no means on the Canadian coast or the Alaskan coast. But I need to move. I want to move a bit quicker. So I'm going to move inland. Because there's plenty of these sorts of places. Look. Inland in Canada. On these glacial lakes. Which that could be. That could be a big rivery lake. So I'm going to search inland in Canada. Um, around sort of Alberta, British Columbia. So here goes. Okay, I think I'm going to go a little bit further south now into states like Montana, Idaho, Dakota, Washington. Uh, let's give it a go. It, it, because it's a distinctive geographical feature, um, luckily. This is one of the easier ones. That's the mad thing. Um, so I'm just looking at all the fjords and then all the lakes. So it shouldn't take me too long. Wish me luck. Right. I have searched all of the places that I think thought in my head were most likely to be and I haven't had much luck uh, well I haven't found it um, whether that's because I haven't quite searched hard enough you know when you're just skimming maybe it's that but I think more likely it just wasn't there uh, I haven't found the right area yet um, so I'm gonna skip over to Google well I am just tempted by that no stop it Tom I'm gonna skip over to Google and see if I can you know Google this green bridge to be honest google the green bridge maybe put in you know mix up the keywords a bit and maybe even try and find out what that exact specific pattern you know uh design of bridge is called like a double trust iron i don't know 
I don't know. That's the point. We need to find out. Also, I can Google this brand to see where that's based, but that doesn't really give it away. Um, so let's get to work on Google then. So um, let's try green mint green bridge Canada. Wow. Okay. That's in Bristol. No, uh, that one's in Bristol. Where's that one just gone? That looked really good. It's bloody gone now that I've clicked on images, but it was this one here. That might be it. Okay, the first thing I'm noticing is they look, well, they are not circular, not cylindrical. They look a bit more cylindrical, but it might just be because it's further away. Mm, I don't know, actually. That looks a lot higher up. Look how high that looks above. Also, there's no mountains in the back, like there's no hill in the background from, from where Abelwell has taken this. What about the building? Because we've got a big building there, a big sort of stub of an office building. But that's on the wrong... That's on the wrong side. That would have to be there. And we'd see this hill in the background, without a doubt. And he's obviously on a, on a hill, because we can see the trees. So maybe that's not it. There's also less buildings here than on here. Man, I thought we had it there. The Jacques Cartier Bridge. Okay, well, let's click on that then. Let's type that in. The Jacques Cartier Bridge, right? And let's go on Wikipedia and find out what that is. It's a steel truss cantilever bridge. I had the word truss, didn't I? Let's copy that. And then let's delve into the world of steel truss cantilever bridges. And let's type in green and go on images. As I say, I'm, I'm not the best Googler out there, as you've probably already seen. I'm not. It's probably what's going to let me down, to be completely honest. And I'll tell you what's going to happen here. The Jacques Cartier bridge is going to crop up isn't it and it's going it's going to overpower the google presence of this bridge this poor bridge here i'll tell you what where is it is it in montreal it does look mightily like it right let's let's get into montreal on here come on yeah that's it it can't be that look look at that it's definitely not that i mean that's as flat as a pancake there I mean, it just plain and simple isn't that, is it, at all? Um, so I've got to keep searching. I am just worried that that one is going to dominate the search, dominate Google. Um, okay, I wonder if I can really get into the internet here. List of, paste that, <laughs> steel truss cantilever bridges. I wonder if there's like a, Wikipedia list of them all some boffin has put together. Okay, I'm on this website, Structure A, Cantilever Trust Bridges. But this is just most important. Ah, but we have list of all structures in this category. How detailed is this going to be? Oh my God, there is, yeah, there's loads. Is there? Wow. There is loads, isn't there? Look at all these. Look at that, for example. Portsmouth, Ohio. Ah. There's a lot here. It would take me a long time to... Um, sift through all these but I'm I'm tempted I might try the 
Canadian ones first. I'll go Canada first. How about that? Because a lot of these look very different. If only I could narrow it down to green ones. Alexandra Bridge, Ottawa. No. Okay, I'm going to try all of them in Canada to begin with. Okay, there's no image for that one, so I'm going to actually type it in on here. Campbellton, New Brunswick. You never know. What a great way to find it that would be. <gasps> I tell you what, from that view, that looks really good. I'm not going to zoom in just yet. That looks like it. Oh, my God. I hope I'm right. <gasps> it's it, isn't it? I don't believe it. I don't bloody believe it. Hang on. It's the one that didn't have a photo. I thought, yeah, maybe it's not that impressive as far as cantilever truss bridges go. So maybe it doesn't have a photo. But, oh my God, I, thi I think by Jove, I think I've got it. Because look, he was probably up here. Look at this. Hang on a minute. This this is why we're here. Imagine if it was his photo. Look. Come on. It's it. That's it. 100%. 100%. Right. Wow. Come on. Get in. Uh, what do I do now? Yeah, well, the, the, the point is I've got to get absolutely spot on, isn't it? So um, here goes. Okay, let's line this up then. So in this photo, we can see that crescent there. Now, this is where the GeoGuessr comes in handy. That's a very um, distinctive-looking crescent we can see there. And you can clearly see it there. Is that it? I'm not so sure. Not so sure. I would say that is more likely to be it. Yeah, that's it, because we've got that one opposite. can even see that swimming pool there. We can see there, I believe. Because that's in line with one road overlook here. So that is definitely where we're looking at. Okay. So basically, our man was up here somewhere. I wonder if he was about there. Now, what's the angle? Oh, bugger. Oh, dear. Oh, we may have lost it there. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I'm in Brazil. Campbellton, New Brunswick. Didn't check New Brunswick, did I? Didn't check it, but should have done. Um, right, so, yeah, let's have a look at the angle that he's at here. Right, we can work this out because we can go directly from... Let's say, yeah, let's be really accurate. And let's draw a line. Let's open this on paint. Let's, uh, I'm serious. Let's open this on paint. Uh, so if I draw a line, a straight line, of course, the center of that post there, down to his feet are going to be about... Uh, this is where it gets a bit confusing. Do I do it to the center of the photo? think we do it to the center of the photo because that's where the that's where it's hmm shit I don't know call me an idiot but where do you draw the line to there there I mean what I mean you know you can't do it to the I mean that's to his head I think it's got to be the center of the photo hasn't it I want to say I want to say it's there but I don't know what my reasoning is for that. If we draw it there, because it's the center of the photo, then actually it's this house here, which I believe is the third one in from where it starts to bend. So we can draw a line on Google Earth. 
This is absolutely mental. 3B, 3D buildings isn't really working. But I think, yeah, that bit of disturbance there is where I start the line from. So start that there. I don't know if this is going to work. All right. Okay. And we draw that in line with that house. This is my plan. <laughs> this is my plan. No, I actually think that it's that one we're looking at. Yeah, that makes sense. So keep that going in a straight line. And I think... Is that right? Is that right? Bit to the right. And that seems right, doesn't it? That, that seems about where I was looking before. So if my calculations are correct, and as I said, there may well not be, I think he's taken it from about here. But apparently the path is just over the other side of the crest of the hill. So I'm going to put my marker down about there. Okay, just quickly then, because I can't let this lie. I can't let this lie. I'm going to apply my theory again. Uh, but this time, presuming that this guy's got it right and that was taken from there, I'm going to I'm going to see if it adds up, basically. There to the middle of the photo. Okay, so this time we've got that different little crescent, the one that I was looking at first. And this apartment block building, it's it's kind of going right across, yeah, that first little jink there. Right, let's see if it... Because this is kind of testing my method, isn't it? Presuming he did it from about there. Let's go in the middle of that brown patch. Ah. Okay, that's not quite right. Yeah, maybe he's right. Maybe he was further over. Maybe he's further over than it, even he thought. If he was there, it's still not over there, is it? It's still... So maybe my method is wrong. Maybe my technique is wrong here. But mm, it's an interesting thought. Um, well, this is only episode one. So you guys can feel free to... I, I don't know who I need here. A mathematician, I guess. Or, or maybe even a photographer or someone in between. Um, who can tell me if that's just a wacko idea. Wacko method. I don't think it's that wacko. But I, I don't... I don't think it's that reliable. So that's what we're looking at. So he's wandered over here. He Maybe he's not quite sure how far he wandered over there. So he, he's purposely clicked over to the left. But maybe he just didn't click quite left enough. Did Rick Savage. Um, let me know, Rick Savage, if you're watching. Uh, but more importantly, this that's going to be my marker right there. So I need Abelwell to get back to me. Um, and... He will confirm whether I am correct or not. Uh, but I, I don't want him or any of the others to go easy on me. So I will await his answer. Okay, who is next in our list of fans to track down? Let's scroll to the right and find out. Here he is. It is Alexander Sturdy Frame. That's his name, apparently. Um, and I had a quick glance at this one and I couldn't help notice that there was writing, text, symbols to try, well, to Google, to be honest. I mean, that's what we're doing. We're Googling. We, we're trying to find it out. I mean, if I had to, to say where this was, given that there's English and Chinese, that is definitely Chinese type writing, um, I would say Hong Kong. I don't think it's Taiwan. I th uh, because the, the English is first. The English is like the first thing on the sign. Then the Chinese. So, And the fact that this guy is, is a, uh, a Western, Caucasian, white-looking guy, I think that increases the odds that it's, China, uh, that it's Hong Kong. Anyway, I think this might be... I think I can do this because... Police station path. 
Sounds like a road name. So anyway, I'm itching to type it in. Um, so yeah, this isn't cheating. This is what I have to do. I have to Google anything I can. Some are going to be easier. Some are going to be harder. This is just going to have to be one of the easier ones. I'm not going to cook up new rules depending on how hard they are. No, no, no. So police station path. We might not find it. Thailand. Ooh, maybe this won't be as quite as easy as I thought. Where's it taking me? It's taking me to Europe. Um, there is one in Hong Kong that's popped up. That's funny. There's nothing in Thailand that's popped up. There's only one in... Oh, that's just a police station. Chung Chow Division Police Station. That's weird. No, that is... Oh, hang on. Yeah, there is. There is a path there. Right, putting the man down. That's it. That's it, all right. Oh, my God. Police station path. That's funny, isn't it? How the marker was just on the police station, but the actual street is right next to it. That's funny how that's came up. Is that just a mad coincidence? I don't think so. Anyway, I found it. I can pretty confidently pinpoint where young Alexander was. Uh, and I shall do that and I shall send him an email just so he can confirm. But I'm pretty sure that one's in the bag. Let's face it. Job done. That's reassuring to know that some of them will be easier. Right, let's move on. Right, two out of two ain't bad. Let's see who's next. We have Anna Spencer Cartwright Pistachio. And that looks familiar in the sense that I think that that is one of the Italian lakes, probably Lake Garda. Um, the Italian northern lakes in the Lake District of Italy. Um, it looks because it's quite wide here and it seems to be heading off in the distance there, I think that um, we've, we're looking at Lake Garda. So let's, well, I don't know. That's the one I would go to first. Let's try it. Come on. We've got to click search, Tom. Whoosh. Oh, it's taken us. Oh, no, yeah, that is the quickest way. Here we are. There's Lake Garda. So I would have put her down here. But that ain't right, because we don't have those islands. Huh. Hang on a minute. Do you know what I think this is? Oh, my God. I wonder if they've meant to do this. Yeah. It is, isn't it? Because you... Wait. Wait. Yeah, that is it. That's not an island there. That is... Oh, my God. Uh, it's... What do we call it? Bongiorno Island. That is Bongiorno Island, the first one. And that's the big kind of Tomb Raider, you know, mansion-looking one. But that is where me and Greg pulled up. Oh, crap. Come on, let's zoom in here. That right there... Is where me and Greg pulled up on our kayaks. We walked past the busker. You can almost see the busker there. And we, well, Greg insisted on greeting half of Italy. That is it. I'm sure of it. That is it. 100%. Oh, my God. So this one's turned out to be pretty easy as well. Um, but we have to figure out where that was taken from. I might apply my theory again. My technique. I might try it because I need to know if this is accurate. I should be able to find this actual restaurant. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to implement my technique of drawing straight lines to the center of the photo and see if it leads me to this. And hopefully there'll be a picture or something on Google Earth um, or I'll be able to see the banister. Right, here we go then. Let's make that a bit smaller. Lovely photo, by the way, Anna. You're looking lovely. 
I've seen the unblurred version. Very beautiful. Um, so, we need something that's in line. Completely in line. Oh, wait. This might be harder than I thought. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, there's something. So, from the center of this island here... To the middle of the photo, we go over that white house there. And it looks like there's a swimming pool down there as well. How did we miss that, Greg? How did we miss the swimming pool, mate? What were we messing around over there for? Yeah, it goes through that pier to the right of the swimming pool. And it cuts over this white house. At I'll work it out. I'll find it on Google Earth. So... Here we go. Let's draw a straight line here too. Now this is mainly just to see if this works. There's probably some of you who are going, for God's sake, why is he persisting with this? This do It's a rubbish technique. But there is that. That boat is still there. Right. So we're looking at that. The line I just drew on paint exactly clipped that the edge of that house. Look at that. It just kisses it. So, that's right. That's right. Which means, if my calculations are correct, that that is where the photo was taken from. But actually, I think we can go on further. Hmm. We've got this building down here and a hedge there. That's... That's that one. That's that one. I can see the shape of the hedge just there. And that is to her right. Yeah, I think we're looking at there. I think because I think we can see. Let's have a look at this photo. There's a photo there. Villa Maria. I wonder if we can put the man down. No. However... We can now Google Villa Maria. Villa Maria. Oh, where is it? I don't know where it is. What is this town called? We didn't stop there. Stressa. Stressa. Okay, Stressa. Let's type that in. View holiday deals. Is that really? Yeah, let's get that up. We're, on, we're just on... What are we on? Agoda. We're looking through the photos now. Is this right? A lot of you will be saying, look, this is a bit nitpicky, but I'm a nitpicky guy. You know, I want to be able to say to Anna, was this the actual banister you were next to? Because that isn't right. So that's, that's actually making me doubt that it is Villa Maria. So far, no conclusive evidence that it's that banister. I'm going to keep searching online. Look, that's a shocking discovery. It's not, it's not the right one. It's not the right banister unless they've changed that. I think we're higher up. I think we're higher up still. Because look at that camera angle, right? Oh, no, don't do that. Okay, that's all right. Look how much sea, or lake rather, you can see there in between. Not that much. Whereas on this photo, we're higher up. We're higher up. There's no two ways about it. We can see much more sea in between um, Bongiorno Island and the far shore. So up we go. Now they could be on a balcony. They, they could be on this one. That one there. Very easily. The line leads to it. I don't think they're up here. I, I don't think they're there. I think they're just a bit further up, but it's made all the difference. You can almost see them there, look. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get on maps, Google Maps, because there's more information to be found here. Can I put the man down? No, but I'm pretty sure. Where can I put the man down then? Uh, maybe if I put it down here, I can, I can see up there. Man, all I want to see is that balcony. But we're not going to see it unless we get the name of that house there. 
do you know what? I think I'm confident enough that that is right. That I don't think I need to find out for sure. Yeah, the angle of it correlates for me perfectly. Like, do you know what I mean? The Yeah, the angle of the wall there, I think, perfectly correlates. I think you were staying in this apartment building here, Anna, and there's no hiding it. I think that's where you were. So I'm going to put a marker down. I'm going to email that to Anna, see if that was correct. Um, and But I think that's a job done. That's uh, That's three done now, and I think that will conclude this video. So that, I think, concludes episode one quite nicely. Uh, and it's been a success, I think. I will await their responses via email um, over the next few days. And in episode two of this, which I'm sure will be going ahead um, fairly soon, because I've really enjoyed it, um, I will just confirm that they were in the right spots. And if they weren't quite right, we'll see how close I was. But yeah, Campbelltown, New Brunswick, Canada, Chung Chow Island, Hong Kong, and Stracer Lake Maggiore, Italy. Um, the second two were easy. They're probably two of the easiest I'll have. Um, but the first one was good. I really enjoyed it. That was a test, a good test for my first go at this. Um, but there's going to be brutal ones to come. I just know it. I can just tell. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you next time for this. Take care.